gravitational force. In a moment of inspiration, Sir Isaac Newton watched an apple fall to the ground and discovered the principle of gravity. Gravity is the force of attraction by which Earth attracts everything towards its center. If so, why does the moon revolve around the Earth? Newton argued that at each point of its orbit, the moon falls towards the Earth instead of going off in a straight line. This is due to centripetal force. A continuously moving body in a circular path will change its velocity to accelerate itself. The force that causes this acceleration and keeps the body moving along the circular path towards the center is called centripetal force. The motion of the moon around the earth is due to the centripetal force. The centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of attraction of the earth. If there was no such force, the moon would pursue a uniform straight line motion towards the earth. All objects in the universe attract each other. This force of attraction between objects is called the gravitational force. Every object in the universe attracts each other with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Consider two objects A and B and their respective masses as capital M and small m. They lie at a distance d. According to the law, gravitational force F is directly proportional to the product of the masses of two objects A and B. A and F are inversely proportional to the square root of the distance between the two objects. F is equal to G into mm by d square, where G is the gravitational constant and the value of G is equal to 6.673 into 10 to the power of minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. Origin of the Law of Gravitation in the 16th century, Copernicus proposed a heliocentric, that is a sun-centric scheme, in which the Earth and the planets moved about the Sun. During the 17th century, Johannes Kepler proposed three laws that describe the motion of planets. The first one is the law of orbits. All planets move in elliptical orbits having the Sun at one focus. The second, the law of areas, a line joining any planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times. To explain that, consider two points A and B on the planet's orbit. Now, as planet moves from point A to point B, the area such covered is in T seconds. Now, between the point C and D, the planet will cover the same area in T seconds. The area between A and B and the area between C and D is equal. The third is the law of periods. The square of the period of any planet about the Sun is proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. The length of the major axis is 2a. The distance between the point of intersection of semi-major axis on major axis to the orbit is a. Now, according to the law of period, T square is directly proportional to A cube. Things to remember The force of attraction between objects is known as gravitational force. According to the law of gravitation, F is equal to G into mm by D square. The force that causes a moving body to accelerate and move along a circular path towards its center is called centripetal force. Due to the centripetal force, the moon revolves around the earth. In the 16th century, Copernicus proposed a heliocentric or sun-centered universe. Johannes Kepler proposed three laws that describe the motion of planets, that is law of orbit, law of areas and law of periods.